video. Are you fucking nuts? Oh, talk, talk about this where? Oh, no, I could never do that. Oh, well, why not? Oh, no, no, because it makes you look like a racist. Excuse me. How does it make you look like a racist if you're asking very serious questions? You're being adult about it. You're not acting like a moron. How is that? You know what I mean? You're just asking questions. Or you're having some sort of social debate. All of my pals are not into that, man. They're not going to do it. They're terrified. They don't want to do it. They're, they think they're going to be inciting some kind of bullshit. <clears throat> so I was talking to my buddy today. It's like, he goes, are you bullshitting me? Okay, you're going to call him up under what? Like, who? I said, I'm going to fuck it. I'm going to call him under Toys Party. He goes, oh, I was talking about Mangles, the cat today. He goes, oh, shit, you hadn't updated that thing in, what, a year? I'm like, so? That doesn't matter. What does it matter? Who cares? That's what I'm going to go under. So, anyway, here's the number one question I have. First of all, the Black Panthers came out, or the spokesman for the Black Panthers came out and stated that they wanted to put a $10,000 bounty on Mr. George Zimmerman's head. And then, a couple of days later, they upped that ante to a million dollars. Does every, everybody agree that that did happen? I'm not telling any lie. I'm not adding to a story. Did everybody see that? Did everybody know that that did happen? It truly did happen, right? Or are you aware of it? Maybe you're not. <coughs> They, they upped it to a million dollars. Now, I've read reports that they stated dead or alive. Excuse me. I went through all the websites today and didn't see that. As far as I'm concerned, that's hearsay. I didn't hear them say that in that news briefing or the thing that's all over YouTube or that was published. I haven't heard it with my own ears. If somebody can provide me with that video where that guy said dead or alive, I'd like to see it because I can't find it. Now, here's another thing. Okay, they state that they did put a bounty out for Mr. Zimmerman. Here's my question. Okay, I was going to call him up today and request permission to record it. To record the call, the reason why Chicago, Illinois, Illinois is a two-party state, meaning you must have two-party compliance to record calls or you're breaking federal wiretap laws. You got that? So you have to have both parties' permission. There's and yours. But if they would grant me an interview, I was going to say to the man or woman and ask them, how do I collect my money? Excuse me? Okay, I got Mr. Zimmerman right here, see? Hypothetical. And I'd tell him that. I'd be like, it's just hypothetical. Now that I've, um, let's see, captured him, now what? Do I bring him to you to collect my money? Do I take him to California? Do I take him to Denver? Where do I take him to collect my money? And once that you have under your under your own statement there, a uh, $1 million bounty, then what? And? <laughs> He's, who's not in the U.S.? Who's gone? Well, exactly. So that's what I'm trying to say. How do I collect my money for his capture? Okay, when you think, if you look up capture in the dictionary, uh, read the definition. Uh, he has not escaped from anywhere, as far as I know. I'm not really sure. You know what I mean? He has not been apprehended and or incarcerated and consequently escaped. So... I'm lost. 
now that he's been captured, now what? Are you going to give me my million dollars? Once he's captured, where does he go from there? Do you understand what I'm saying? So, here's another thing. Um, if I'm not, I'm pretty sure, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure that Eric Holder, who is, you know, that guy, that attorney general fella, yeah, that guy, and then you got Janet Napolitano, the uh, director or something of Homeland Security. Yeah, that one, the ugliest chick in all of the government, that one. Uh, something about if you see something, say something. Hmm. Gosh, putting a bounty out for somebody's capture that hasn't escaped, that is not some sort of authority, but you're an organization, a nonprofit slash something, whatever. God, wouldn't that be grounds of, like, illegal? You know what I mean? I I'm just not understanding. So explain it to me. How do I collect my money? That's what I want to know. I want the million dollars. How do I collect it? Where do I take them? Because, see, if somebody captures him and brings him literally from that stop sign over to the yield sign against his will, that's kidnapping. You, you do know that, right? That's the question I want to ask him. Are you going to provide the, the legal fees for the person that is going to be incarcerated because they tried to kidnap Mr. Zimmerman now? That's a serious question. I mean, that's not bullshit. You see, everybody's so scared. They don't want to talk about it. I'm scared. I don't want to be deemed as a racist for asking questions. Oh, my God. Then you got NBC, National Broadcasting uh, Service, or Center, or whoever the fuck they call themselves. NBC, they turn around and alter the audio of the 911 call to manipulate public opinion. But you know what? I hate to say it. The more I've looked at all this mess, as far as the way it looks, the way it looks to me, in my opinion, Zimmerman's guilty. I'm sorry. That's just the way it looks to me at this time. I'm not a, I'm not a jury. I'm not freaking a judge. I'm not the police. I'm, I'm just a guy. In my opinion, it does look like he's guilty after seeing the ABC news feed of him driving up in the police car, they're checking him again. He doesn't have anything on the back of his head. He doesn't have a broken nose that I could see. There's no blood on his shirt at all. Nothing. He's all dressed nice and, you know, it's no big deal. Excuse me, if a guy's beating your head in and he broke your nose, you're going to bleed somewhere. You're walking around like nothing happened, like you just you just left the fucking mall, like it's no big deal. Another question that I'd like to ask the Black Panthers is this one. These guys put a bounty out for Mr. Zimmerman, but yet he hasn't escaped. Look up capture in the dictionary. Maybe I'll do a video about it so people can understand. Or look it up yourself if you don't believe me. For his capture, okay? Well, my other hypothetical situation would be, okay, let's do role reversals. When, when O.J. Simpson was acquitted of killing two white people, a male and a female, back in the day, and he was released from prison, he was acquitted and released. If the Ku Klux Klan would have put a bounty publicly on the news for a million dollars, and, you know, famous country singers and actors were going to pay a million dollars for his capture, how do you think the country would look at that?
So, all these people don't want to talk about this. They're, they're oh, it's too sensitive. It's too sensitive to ask questions? Why? I mean, I'm sorry, in this particular case, after looking at it objectively, from what I've seen so far, is that it there, DK Gnome? The ABC News feed? Where he's, he's, you know, the police car pulls up and they're checking him and he looks just fine. It looks like he left the mall. I'm not disputing that, Brostrom. However, fair is fair, buddy. When you look at everything, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't look the way it's being presented is what I'm trying to say. Now, believe it or not, I know this is hard to believe, but I'm working on a story that nobody knows about yet. I'm going to make some phone calls tomorrow on my own ticket, my own dime, because a lot of people are suggesting that the man or the government or somebody is trying to incite a lot of uppityness, you know what I mean? And I'm going to see if that's true. I'm not going to try to prove it. Whichever way it goes, if it's a private citizen organization or, or whatever of influence, then I'll just break the story that way. But from what I understand at this time, doing my investigation so far, without telling you too much, the traceback goes to Maine. The server ship goes to Massachusetts. The IT command administrative contact is in British Columbia. And the individual running the show in the IT division is Chinese. The owner is somewhat American. The programmer is Danish. Something is up. We're going to get to the bottom of it tomorrow. I'll let you know. It's going to blow your fucking mind. But I tell you what, if I get one freaking inquiry or one affiliation to Washington, D.C., yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, it's a jaw dropper, let me tell you. <clears throat> uh, you know what, uh, Shakers? I'm sorry, I, I disagree. Listen, if somebody is trying, uh, uh, this is another thing about wanting to ban guns and shit because of whatever happens. I disagree with all that bullshit. You're going to ban guns, now what? You're going to ban knives too? Are you going to ban baseball bats? Are you going to ban forks? Are you going to ban hammers? Are you going to ban those two? You know what I mean? It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. I look at it this way. If a dude is trying to hurt yourself or your wife or your children in public and you end up blowing their head off, oh well, they shouldn't be fucking with people in their family in public now, should they? If a dude walks up on your house, okay, breaks down your door, what are you supposed to do? Sit down and have a little Dr. Phil fucking talk with him? Wrong. Click, click, blast. See in the news, bitch. You see what I mean? If a dude comes up on the street at the store or wherever in a park and he's starting garbage and I stab him in the eye and kill him, do you think I'm going to feel guilty about it? I will not. Wrong. You're, you're accosting me or you're trying to attack me? For what? Because I didn't give you a quarter or because you don't like the way I walk or talk? How about fuck off? Here, hold this right in your eye. You don't mind, do you? And I would expect everybody else to do the same. If somebody had a gun and somebody was provoking another person, click, click, bang, sorry, dude. Yeah, oops. 
But for guys to just be brandishing guns, thinking they're Mr. You know, fancy Pants, and then goes to shoot a guy just to shoot him, yeah, they should be they should be put in jail for that for a long time. Of course, that's murder. That's what I'm saying, Ronson Ronson, exactly. You're going to ban guns for what? And? No, I'm not angry, wrestling. We're just having a uh, discussion. How's it going, man? Long time no see. Just like everybody's scared to talk about this issue. I, I don't understand. I just don't. Oh, good times. How's your job going? Pretty good? Zimmerman had a gun, not the kid. I understand that. But here, here's another, if you add this to the equation, Shatris. What if they both had guns and shot each other and killed each other? Then what? See what I mean? We would be talking about it, absolutely. Oh, you know what? Here's a real funny thing. I hope people are aware of this. Two weeks ago, about the same time that this incident happened, two African Americans attacked a white man in his SUV with a hammer and beat the living shit out of him so bad that right now he's in ICU as we as we speak. Now you got to remember, two black guys on a 50-year-old white guy in his SUV. It starts hitting him with a hammer, drags him out of the SUV, into the bushes, continues to hit him with a hammer, get in the SUV and drives away. Now, I'm just wondering, are those two boys the same boys, the sons that President Obama never had? I'm just curious. Hmm? Yeah? In my opinion, President Obama should not be opening his mouth about this because it has nothing to do with the president. Nothing. It is a local matter. I mean, he can have an opinion about it. Sure, I'm not saying that he can't have an opinion. I'm just saying to publicly come out and try to sway some sort of public opinion in either direction is inappropriate, don't you think? Until all the facts have been hashed out. I wasn't there, so I can't even say. All I can say is my opinion. He did say that. Oh, you do. Sack, you got him back, bud. You already got him. You should have him, bud. Hang on. Uh, no, you already have him. It says you're. It says remove perma off. So you already have him, bud. See how that works. Yeah, he's got permas. I just I don't I just don't understand um you know, everybody's got their opinion on shit. I got mine and everybody's got theirs. I mean, I'm not disputing right or wrong, it's just from what I see at this time, 
it does look like the kid was, you know, murdered. It does look that way, for real. But again, I wasn't there. I'm not on a jury or some shit. I'm just from what I've seen. But I tell you what is bullshit. NBC manipulating an, an actual 911 call, trying to sway public opinion. Man, that's some bullshit right there. They also used old, old pictures, exactly. Yeah. Corporate media manipulation, big time. Oh, <clears throat> uh, the guy wasn't Jewish, I don't think, was he, Sagamaniacs? Oh, was he really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Uh, that's a very good question. Uh, you know what? I don't even know, and that's why I don't even know. I tell you what, if the Black Panthers will answer my phone tomorrow, I'll ask them that very question. Why is it being shot by a, a Hispanic, you said he's Jewish, I don't know if he is or not, but if you, whatever, we know he's Hispanic for sure. If a Hispanic guy shoots a black guy, how is that a black and white issue? I don't, that, that's a great question. It is a good question. But I tell you what, the entire media, if you guys agree, and I, man, they're pulling some sneaky shit with this story, aren't they? Man, real sneaky shit. Oh, here's a question. Here's a question for people in the room, for real, honest answer. Matter of fact, I'm gonna let these uh, guest people talk. So, guests can chat. Sorry about that. You guys got to remind me all the time because I forget. Here's a question, for real. It is not. It is not illegal to be a bigot. Does everybody agree with that? Oh, my little sunfish. Hang on a second. Let me give you perma ops. Add permas. There you are, my little sunfish. Oh, man. And seen you forever. All right. Now, all right, it got, I got distracted. Would you agree that it is not illegal to be a bigot, to be a racist? It is not illegal to be that. What is that true? It's not illegal. There's a thing called the Constitution. Whether you like it or not, it's not illegal to be a racist. All right. Now, a really absolute question, man, for real. I'm so serious. I really believe in freedom of speech, regardless of what you think. Now, I've had these cocksuckers come on YouTube and drop people's docs or people put phone numbers down or call people gay or put shit uh, just hideous shit I'll go back and remove the comment you're goddamn right I will sure will do it again do it again tomorrow I'll do it again right now people are like oh you're taking away my freedom of speech no motherfucker you already said it cocksucker how am I taking it away from you you already fucking said it 
Here's another thing that cracks me up. I do believe in freedom of speech, but guess what, motherfucker? you got to take responsibility for what you say. If you walk up to a man, and he's with his girlfriend, and you say that his girlfriend is fat, and she looks like Porky Pig, and he turns around and drop kicks you right in your chin and breaks it, uh, guess what? He didn't take away your freedom of speech either, bitch. But you had to take responsibility for what you said. That's fair, isn't it? Is that fair? How about high back? Where's he at? It is fair. Man, if you walk up to me and start talking trash, you know, because I got a chocolate poodle or whatever, and I love chocolate poodles, which I don't, but if I did, you know what I mean? Or whatever. I started talking shit about my, I don't know, my wife or something. Or my, who know whatever. You know, start disrespecting somebody's family. And the whole family comes after you and kicks your, kicks your ass in the dirt. Nobody took away your freedom of speech because you already said it, dumb motherfucker. If you go into a theater and you yell fire, nobody took away your freedom of speech. You said it already, dummy. But now you have to pay the consequences because you put other people's lives in jeopardy because you want to be a smart ass. So see, that's the thing. My, my, what I'm getting at is this, and, and like I said, I'll share this shit with you tomorrow depending on how, what I found out about it, because a lot of people are suggesting, for political reasons, a lot of different individuals, either of the New World Order or in that genre, are actually trying to heighten the situation and pin race against race for either political or some sort of military, uh, excuse me, some sort of military reason, i.e., martial law. Let's take away your gun bullshit type crap. Now, we don't know that to be true. However, Monty stumbled upon some information today that is kind of looks that way, but I need to prove it first because I'm not going to, you know, do, you know, flip, let's flip a coin, maybe shit. It's got to be real deal. I need to, I'm going to doodle the fuck out of this one, you know what I mean? Make sure it's right. Make the calls and all that bullshit, whatever. But here's my question. Would it be okay, in your opinion, knowing the Constitution, but also knowing that you have got to take responsibility for your fucking mouth, Whatever it is you're going to say, you got to take responsibility for it. Would it be all right to have a website that was just full of hate and violence and stuff that would be against one race or against the other? Would that be okay? There's no right answer. Your opinion, please. <clears throat> 